from what we've seen so far, it's not outside the realms of possibility that uh, a lot more people are going to get hurt. And quite likely, before the end of this, entire organisations are going to be thrown into an uproar. But really, no matter what side you're on, they all need to look out for Accelerator. Maybe people should start actually handing out photos of his face, just like, don't go against this guy. Probably would have uh, saved that first group. Yep. Starting off uh, with peacekeeping duties, going too far. Yep, I think they really need to start vetting their applicants a bit better. I was going to question the the bunny bear mecha thing, but then it just occurred to me, in this world where people have the abilities to create such things, why do they need to be subtle in any way? Just have fun with it. Honestly, I'm not sure what to think about this new four. I mean, sure, they're like cleaners being sent in to mop up all the mess, but... It's not just kind of... Classic, dark and broody. They're just insane. I wonder if we are going to get a beginning of Accelerator's uh, personal growth in this series, which led into the one we've already seen. Well, actually, no, it only took, like, one of them. It's not completely gone yet. Bonus points. Well, if it's bonus points, then of course they're going to go all out to try and uh, apprehend a corpse, as, it's, as it seems. Was that necessary? Yep. They, they're on loose footing up there. Especially with the... If the... Uh, if the driver of that thing is still alive. Having far too much fun with this. Do you need to... Why is the bunny thing now angry? Do you need to practice beforehand? What kind of education have they been getting there? I see. So they're pushing the onus onto... The educators, the teachers, rather than those that actually run things. Or maybe they're just using some very warped metaphor. Not really. 
And who would fill that void? I don't think that uh, the well-wishing like that is going to... Yeah, this is going to work. And has really made them listen. L listen to what they were saying. Yep. As soon as she started casting a, a shield as such, would you keep shooting and use all of your ammunition? More liquid? Ah. Instant... Well, basically, she's just throwing liquid nitrogen around. No, no, that's an icicle, you can't. Otherwise... Well, I didn't think you would see someone be shattered apart, but... What exactly can anyone do against a, a beast like that? If that is her mission, she'll come in with ruthless efficiency. And for a thing with mass and size, okay, it moves quite, quite, it's quite agile. Anyone seems to be caught in the crossfire if they step out of line. If they were really... Wanting to change things. Wouldn't uh, erasing everyone be a bad idea? You're going to sacrifice... Her own body. Okay. <laughs> Let's be honest. If I thought I'd be seeing the... Or if anyone told me I'd be seeing a fight between a giant bear and a corpse, I, I really wouldn't have trusted you. But is it still highly flammable? She's malleable, able to shift to pretty much anything. Just run faster than the projectiles. Well, yeah, she is, but... Who's going to be able to step in at this moment? Yeah, I don't know how I feel about going through this fight logically to this extent. Like a, just a machine.
No special move, just stomp. <laughs> I mean, at least wait for the dust to clear. Cool. And she and immediately noticing what the actual armor of the dead thing was, and being able to tell where it was from. <laughs> the recoil from such attacks. Hey. Uh, Yeah, just make a shovel. <laughs> uh. Oh. Okay. I didn't. Ex yeah. I, no. Okay. I didn't expect a uh, one of those tunnel drilling excavators. Yeah. Just stand still and let her. She's an idiot. <laughs> As, although she can shape shift and all that, her her mascot. She hasn't quite uh, worked out how to use it all too efficiently. And what do you, you hope to achieve there? And it's drilling down the arm. Wow. Yeah, yeah, if you did move... Good. Good thing the hands weren't destroyed when that thing, that magic uh, exploded. But oh no! Yeah, they weren't exactly ever going to just give up now. Justice again. Different def definitions, just, you know, they had a different dictionary. Yep, her hands are doing quite well stand up against this kind of uh, sanding. <laughs> well, it depends on where you look. Oh, that's gross. And yet it seems the ones that are uh, saying that everyone else is rotten to the core haven't seen a mirror very often. Just in time. It could have arrived a few minutes earlier. You would have saved uh, having to need to get a manicure. If you want to see a, someone who's truly rotten to the core.
And yet, at the same time, also being a slight act. Uh, are they just trying to write, write her, or are they just having fun slapping her in the face? Get out of here, obviously. If she had just run before, there wouldn't have been need to keep standing there and getting grated down. Excuse me? <sighs> so bothersome. I see they uh, came closer by by themselves. The balance of power has truly shifted. How fitting. But apparently... Uh, like... Despite all their bluster, there they are this, just the same. Oh no, someone's about to get hurt. You've got to protect their own. I don't think any of your techniques are really going to work too well. There's a first time for everything. Yep. Yeah. A term for something unbeatable. Scavenger isn't really the first thing I would think of. I... I really think they haven't quite grasped anything of what he's doing so far. He didn't need to move beforehand, did he? He dragged them to him. An Iron Maiden? I see. I mean, kind of interesting combination move. That's right, he is. And where will their... You give up far too easily. How many times has she just... Give me, ah, oh, shit, everything's over. Wait for someone else to step in and save them. Boom. And it appears they've failed the test. Time for supplementary lessons. In the darkest depths of information garnered, the one you must always avoid. Those pens are expensive. <laughs> Their bluster of strength immediately removed, fear sets in. Comfortable. You know, she could use a blanket or something, though. Uh, so, is... Uh, okay, there's one thing. 
You easily stop a heart or fry a... neurons. I think in this moment... We can really see what each of them are going through. One is panicked, one is full of rage. <laughs> Hardly even a fight, apparently. Yep, they're down. The fact that she completely broke immediately just upon seeing him. Hmm. I mean, she was just a kind of normal person using just thermite and liquid nitrogen or whatever, but he didn't really need to go all out against her. The same kind of terror he instilled on the DA guys back in the morgue. Is she going to pass out as well? Yeah. Instant defense mechanism. <laughs> hmm. And there, and one standing at the top. Well, you failed your mission, is. So, why would you get paid? It just happened to be a coincidence that they're there. He came for the uh, for the sister. Good thing it wasn't too strenuous, though. He won't have to spend too long recuperating. Or getting last order angry at him. That would be the worst. But every time I see something like this, it makes me almost laugh. You know, you've got to wait until the most dire of circumstances, the most you know, once things reach that critical stage, then you have the ex machina sort of step in and save everything. I'm waiting for the time when uh, you have someone have all this bluster and I'm the strongest ever. Here's my ultimate killing move. But before they're actually able to use it, they're taken out. We, after the, seeing the, uh, I can't remember her name, the, the corpse one keep that sustained attack, and then a few scenes later it seemed relatively okay. Now that she's imbued by, well, imbued with magic, is she more durable, being able to bring out the extra percentage in her muscles? That stops against heavy mining equipment, apparently. But it is cool to see that um, this lot who were introduced last episode, oh no, they they could be scary, cause some actual issues and danger to, to, to everyone we know. Oh, reduced to tears and slightly soggy underwear in quite, well, in a few minutes. But why is it always people who see this 
error with society. Things are heading the wrong way. So we will push all of the onus onto someone, in this case teachers. They will take the fall for everything, not actually address the root cause of anything. Seems like certain... They've taken... Seems like they've been taking hints from certain politicians. Ignore the reason for any sort of actual inequity and put on some grand show and dance. Ultimately achieve buckle. At least in this instance, they're somewhat amusing. But I do like the notion of you set up this crack squad to basically carry out all of the dirty work, go into any situation, and uh, clean house. And yet this is how they react to a single guy. Sure, he might be the accelerator, but um, I think they're going to need a few more members in Scavenger then. Also, considering the the, 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 the magic-imbued corpse walking around was bleeding? Obviously, they didn't carry out the full you know, proper autopsy and uh, preservation and all that. But that means that the... The cups they were using in the coffin probably wouldn't have lasted all too long. But then to keep switching them out with new ones every now and again if they're not going to use any, like, formaldehyde. But also in this retreat, we don't really know if the anti-skill woman is uh, going to be okay. I mean, we we know she, she's going to be okay, but we don't really <laughs> you know in this instance. And also, if they actually did manage to get their hands on the sister, what would they have done? It's not like DA who would have used it for military gain. I don't think they'd be able to really extract from them as like a network. If it was explained and I've just glossed it over or forgotten, let me know. But in the meantime, if you have enjoyed the episode, consider letting me know down below. Leaving a like and a comment helps out the channel, helps out me, maybe even reflecting back into you. But for now... Get yourselves a bit of rest. See you in the next one. If you want to be the reason I shake with fear, consider joining onto my Patreon, because the thought of upsetting any of you could really reduce me to a soggy puddle. And so, I guess to avoid any more brown trousers moments, this channel needs as much support as I can get. So I really do need to thank Electricant, Noku, Raywin, Kite, Sao, Shuan, Mats, Gurley, Cardboard, Croyville, Gintaman, Jennifer Rojas, D. Fero, Avan Garsan, Waha, Defender of Seg, Stark Shadow, 7899, Jeremiah, Tima, and everyone else. Because this is all fun and games until someone brings out the Tunnel Excavator.